Hi there, it's Bonnie with So Inspired by Bonnie with another Tuesday's tip. And today we're going to discuss how to iron vinyl. And what I'm talking about is the clear see-through type of vinyl, not the heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna go refresh my page and if you're here, give me a shout out, let me know and we'll get started. I hope everybody's ready for Thanksgiving. I know I can't wait to see everybody and have fun with my family. I see Kay is here. And I'm refreshing again just to make sure. <clears throat> okay, they're starting to show up. I see Debbie and Kay are here. Um, Polly and Mary are here. Great to see you. So as you come in, just go ahead and give me a shout out. Be sure to like and follow our page so that you'll get uh, notifications when we go live on our Tuesday's Tips. And oh, there we go. Okay, I just wanted to let you know as a reminder or for those that are new here today to let you know that these Facebook Live videos will be reposted on our YouTube channel later on today as well as our Pinterest page. So if you miss it live, don't worry, you can see it later. Of course, we always save them on our, vi uh, on our Facebook page as well. So if you just click on the videos tab, you can see all our past videos as well as this one later on after after it's posted. Okay, so as I mentioned, today we're going to discuss how to iron vinyl, and it's the clear plastic kind that you can see through. Now, this also applies to any of the pull fabric that so many of you are using for baby items like uh, diaper covers, things like that, or any uh, fabric that you've laminated. Anything that has that plastic feel to it that we're not supposed to touch with a hot iron. So I wanted to go over how to properly iron those and get them nice and flat again. As you know, or maybe you don't, but maybe you do, um, even storing this clear vinyl, as you see here, I've stored this um, and I rolled it up nice, but my roll got flattened in storage and it's been folded in half so there's going to be wrinkles on this just from storing it not even using it another thing that happens is when you make a bag and you turn it inside out it's going to be wrinkled by the time you get it turned inside out no matter how smooth you had it before um, you turned that bag inside out and that uh, brings me to how i came up with this tip today i was making a little travel bag for my puppy Samson and we travel with our dogs uh, they're like family to us so we travel with our puppy dogs even though he's a great big golden doodle we do go with him or I should say he comes with us and so I like a way to store their you know leashes and collars or for little Sasha a little coat when it gets cold and things like that I like a way to store their items and keep them separate from our items and I got this little bag it's called an I spy bag I got this from a company called so sweetness it's a Sarah Lawson bag it's part of her minikins collection which is a bundle of like 12 patterns and she does videos on how she creates those patterns too so you not only get the pattern itself but you also get a video on how to make that pattern with her tips in there. So I thought that was really kind of a clever concept. But the nice thing about this little I Spy bag that caught my attention was it has a clear vinyl pocket, or not pocket, but a clear panel on the back. So you can see the contents of what's inside the bag without unzipping the bag and digging in. So I was making this bag and I thought, gosh, you know, turning this inside out, it's getting wrinkled getting it and I thought that'll make a great Tuesday's tip so here we are and that's how I got to this Tuesday's tip so let's go ahead and get started now that you know what inspired my little Tuesday's tip today um, I'll put him over here I do want to mention a couple of things when you're working with the clear vinyl just as a heads up 
um, that has nothing to do with ironing it, but I thought I would mention it. These Wonder Clips are wonderful to use with clear vinyl. Vinyl does not recover. When you stick a, um, a pin in it, it digs a hole and that doesn't recover. It doesn't close back up. So the Wonder Clips are great for that. They just clip on and don't make any holes or anything. So I really liked the Wonder Clips for that reason. Oops, he's fallen over. Let's see if we can get him to stand up. I don't know if you can see him. Um, huh. Well, you can kind of see him. <laughs> There we go. Now you can sort of see them. Um, another thing you'll want is a Teflon presser foot when you're uh, sewing with the clear vinyl or a roller foot. I also notice that, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes if the vinyl happens to want to get hung up on the sewing bed of your machine, it's very helpful to just lay a piece of um, paper, just ordinary paper. You could use the paper that comes with the clear vinyl or just I used a sheet of my instruction paper and just lay it on the bed not under the feed dogs or anything um, or over the feed dogs I should say not by the um, throat plate there but just to the side where it can scooch underneath the vinyl so that the vinyl slips easily on the bed of the machine so just a couple of little side notes there but how do we get those wrinkles out whether we store it or turning it inside out you're bound to get wrinkles in this in this vinyl. What I suggest, there's a couple of ideas. Um, if it's a nice warm sunny day, you can just put the vinyl out, lay it flat, and let the, the sun heat it up, and the wrinkles will just kind of fall right out. It'll become pliable, and the wrinkles will just fall right out of that vinyl. So that's one way, but sometimes like right now, we don't have a lot of warm, hot, sunny days to lay the vinyl out. I wanted this project done. I didn't want to wait until summer to do it. So there are other options. You can take the paper that came with it, lay your vinyl underneath it, and put your iron at about a nylon setting. I wouldn't go up much hotter than that. Um, and make sure that the vinyl is completely covered with the paper and you can press right through the paper. It's kind of like using it as a pressing cloth. So you can use the paper, that's one option. If the wrinkles are still there, you can go up a notch or two, but I wouldn't go up a whole lot on it. You don't want to get too hot, otherwise you'll create wrinkles in the vinyl and it'll melt that vinyl. So you don't want to do that. You can use an ordinary piece of fabric just a scrap fabric that I had from making um, my little uh, Bark Buddies pouch there. I forgot to mention that and I know some of you will ask. The design on the front I used for Samson came from our Bark Buddies set which you can find on our website. So I again have this iron set and a nylon setting. I'm just using a piece of cotton and again I wanted to make sure that the vinyl was completely covered and that will get the wrinkles out. Now again, when you're turning the bag from inside to out, you're gonna get wrinkles. And I know you're not gonna do this with your vinyl, but you kinda sorta do when you're turning it inside out when you're making a bag. And you can see just how wrinkly it gets. But if you take, put that iron on a nylon setting and Put a pressing cloth on of some sort make sure that the whole vinyl is completely covered you can get those wrinkles right out now obviously you're not going to be able to do that you see those wrinkles are coming right out i was in a hurry so i didn't get all of it but you see that that will get all the wrinkles out if you press the whole thing now on the bag you obviously cannot just i can't just take this and Put a press cloth on top of it. Let me go ahead and take his leash out of here. Let's go ahead and put that down there. On a lot of bags you couldn't, I probably could uh, actually lay this on here and kind of press it. That might be an option because this bag is kind of flat anyway, but a lot of bags are not. You know, they're uh, uh, they have a lot of shape and you don't want to flatten out your bag. So what do you do in that instance? 
Well, there's a couple of ideas I have for you. I always like to give you a couple of different ideas because you never know which, is, which idea is going to work the best in the situation you find yourself in. So you're going to crank your iron up to a high setting, like around cotton. You're going to... I can't do that on my steady Betty because it won't. my iron won't move. It's made so it won't move. You're going to get your ironing surface nice and hot. I know this seems a little backwards, and it, it's kind of going through the back door to get the, the job done. But you're going to get your uh, ironing surface nice and hot. Then you're going to take your bag and put the vinyl side down next to the warm surface of that ironing board. And you're going to use your fingers to kind of, I'm doing this with my fingers. I'm kind of pressing those wrinkles out, kind of feeling my way to press out those wrinkles to get a nice smooth surface. Now there's another idea. <laughs> Good old fashioned hair dryer. Put that on your high setting, or the hot. I'm gonna turn it off so you can hear me. But you would have it on hot and you just blow dry that vinyl uh, so that it gets nice and uh, the wrinkles are nice and smoothed out. You don't want to get the uh, blow dryer right on it because you could melt it, so you don't want to get too close with that. Another thing that I forgot to mention with the iron, don't use any steam. Steam will, one of two things, either uh, get under on the um, vinyl itself and kind of melt it because it's hot steam, or it'll just make your vinyl wet. You don't need any steam. It's not going to do any good for the vinyl. So make sure you have a dry iron. Again, with the blow dryer, you want it a little bit away from the vinyl itself. You don't want it right on top of it because you don't want to melt it. Another idea is when you're turning, when you're actually turning the bag inside out, if you have a buddy with you, um, maybe you have a sewing friend with you, maybe your husband is available and you can grab him, while you're turning the bag inside out, have your friend blow with the blow dryer as you're turning that vinyl inside out and it will keep the wrinkles falling out as you're turning it inside out so it actually smooths it while you're turning it inside out. So there's a few different methods to get the results that you want with your vinyl to get it nice and smooth without a bunch of wrinkles in it. And I hope one of those will work for you, whether it be the iron, the blow dryer, or a nice warm sunny day. All of them will work. It's just whatever the season is and where you happen to be and what stage of the game you're at, whether it's a nice flat piece of vinyl or it's already in a bag that you want to smooth out. And this works on a bag that you maybe finished years ago. Maybe it's gotten wrinkled. Get the blow dryer out and you can release those wrinkles with the blow dryer at the the hot setting, not cool. Obviously the cold wind isn't gonna do anything for it. But I'm gonna go over to the uh, computer now and see if we have any questions. Later on, I'm going to give you a really cool tip from one of our viewers that I think you will enjoy. So you wanna hang tight and not miss that. But let's see if we have any questions today. I know everybody's really busy getting ready for Thanksgiving. Um, let's see. Looks like I'm going to refresh my page just to make sure. Might not have any questions. It might have been pretty self-explanatory. It looks like this is a first. I don't see any questions from anybody. It looks like it was pretty self-explanatory today. Yay! <laughs> oh, I love questions. Don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm glad that it made sense what I was uh, showing. So let's go ahead and move on to um, the next segment. Oh, I did want to remind you, please, please, do sign up for our newsletter. You can do that over at www.soinspiredbybonnie.com. And when you sign up for our newsletter, we send you a couple of free designs. You'll get notifications of sales that are coming up, as well as reminders of our Tuesday's tips and what they will be. 
and new releases when we have new releases of either new designs or new colors on our glitter flex. So let's go ahead and um, Susan said that the video kept freezing up on her, but better late than never. I'm sorry the video was freezing up on you on your end. Um, that could be a proce processor issue. <clears throat> Sometimes that happens when I have too many uh, windows open on my computer, so you might want to make sure you don't have a bunch of stuff running in the background. But let's go on. Oops, it slid away from me. I have to reach for it. For our Tuesday's tip from one of our viewers today. Oh, Shonda says, do you have a video showing how to make the bag and placing the vinyl? Shonda, I will post a link to um, So Sweetness's uh, website where I got the pattern. And she does a video on the, her pattern. As I said, this was part of her Minikins patterns. It was a bundle set of 12 patterns. And she actually does videos step-by-step -step on how to do the bag and add the vinyl and all of all of that um, so I will post a link to that up above um, the video later on when we're done so today's tip uh, from one of our viewers comes from Terry Crawford and she said that she was roaming around I'll just read it to you it makes it makes more sense if I just read it she was roaming around in a Target store that was having a remodel done. I know a lot of the Targets are redoing uh, their layout and everything. So it's been kind of a crazy mess for a while. So anyway, she said she passed by a clearance area in that Target where they were, while they were remodeling. And she saw some of those as seen on TV signs. What caught my eye was the copper grill mat. My wheels started turning. If they work on grills, they should work with an iron, right? So I bought the markdown box and headed home to test it. It works great for applique, fusible interfacings, etc. If you do iron some of the adhesive onto the uh, copper grill mat, let it cool and it peels right off. Actually, she admits that she deliberately ironed a bit of heat and bond directly onto the copper grill mat. No problem. She um, let the mat cool and then it just peeled right off. The point is this is less expensive than most of the applique sheets that were sold in the sewing industry. Also it is usually sh sold in a two pack. So the brand I purchased or that she pur purchased was Yoshi, Y-O-S-H-I. It is available on Amazon, but you have to look carefully for the lowest price on Prime. Some of the vendors take you for the cleaners with their pricing, she says. Can't swear, but pretty sure any brand of copper grill baking mat would work equally well. Well, thank you, Terry. Um, I went ahead and I looked on Amazon for copper. I did a, a Google, not a Google search. I went to Amazon. I did a search for copper. What did she call this? I did a search for copper grill mats on Amazon and several came up and they were two packs uh, generally. I saw four packs as well and they're rolled up in a little cardboard box similar to what you get your vinyl, uh, not vinyl, um, foil for the kitchen or plastic wrap, things like that. So they're very pliable they're little sheets of copper um, grill mats and they're non-stick so when you fuse on them or um, use fus fusibles or or appliques and accidentally get some on there it just peels right off so I thought that was a really clever idea I saw the pricing on them um, real quick real quick glance that was a tongue tire um, was around seven or eight dollars for two sheets on up to 14 or so for I think for four sheets so they are pretty reasonable um, might give it a give it a shot and take a look at them uh, for her sending in the tip as you guys know when you send in a Tuesdays or a tip that I use while I'm on my Tuesdays tip Facebook live video I will send you free five sheets of 
six by ten sheets of the glitter flex and we sell the glitter flex on our website uh, again that's www.soinspiredbybonnie.com and we have close to 60 colors available right now but I will be sending these to Terry for sending in her tip okay well I think that covers our Tuesday's tip today I hope you enjoyed it I hope you find one of those methods that will work well for you I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving I really appreciate you guys spending some time with me today I know you guys are really busy we are all running around trying to get everything done here but we're getting there <laughs> you just keep running right so anyway I again wish you a happy Thanksgiving and until next Tuesday bye bye for now